Good evening, my incredible things. Welcome back, or welcome to the cavern. If you're new. I'm trying to keep everything normal, so... Uh, I always do movie reviews on Fridays. Well, Friday nights, specifically. And I recently watched the controversial film, They Them. I can honestly say there were aspects I liked and hated about the film. It is a horror movie surrounding conversion camps. And like some people who reviewed the film said, they had a problem with the outburst of singing. But I understood why they did it and why they chose that specific song. I think a lot of people, especially teens who are struggling with their identi identities and bullying, would resonate with the Pink song Perfect. I actually liked it myself when it first came out because I think we've all been there where we felt horrible about ourselves for whatever reason. Either we don't feel good about ourselves because of how we are told to perceive beauty. Or we hate ourselves because of the societal norms that we don't always fit into. Or bullying, um, things like that. It can all make us self-hate. And feeling like you're not quite right. There's something wrong with you. Or you're not enough. So I kind of understand why they did that. If you haven't seen the film and would like to see it, it's available on Peacock. I think it's still available. Anyways, there are going to be spoilers from here on. So I'm going to give you a fair warning. So you don't have it ruined if you are looking forward to seeing this movie and don't have Peacock and maybe have a different streaming service. It most likely will come to another streaming service. You're just going to have to be patient. I know it didn't do well. A lot of people had issues with this movie. So it might take a little longer, but it'll happen. <laughs> so spoilers. I kind of wish it was more of a thriller than a horror movie with the conversion camp being the main villain instead of the additional villain. It was really just a mess. To me, it was just too much going on. Uh, I hated the murder of the dog. That really upset me. I was hoping that it wouldn't happen and I don't I understand why they did it it was to show how twisted the leader of the conversion camp was and his followers but I think there was another way they could have did it uh the twist I wasn't expecting Having someone undercover pretending to be a fellow queer teen was something very sadistic and horrifying, to be honest. Add that to the dog and yeah, they all need psychological help, in my opinion. I wish they kept with the conversion camp as the main villain, like I said earlier, because the leader was downright horrible and the perfect villain of the story. And they could have did that and had the teens try to survive or escape, find a way to save the others. It would have been much better, especially since conversion camps are terrible places and should be illegal, but unfortunately aren't everywhere. And in fact, a lot of these you don't even hear about, and you should. Uh, I learned about them first, I want to say, 
I know I was in college when I first heard about them and some of the things that they do to help or fix the people trusted in their care. I am so disgusted that they are not in the news and they should be and they should be illegal. But a lot of these, and something the movie actually stated is accurate, unfortunately. A lot of people turn a blind eye to them because they think that they are doing a good thing. Uh, which is really fucked up, to say nicely. Uh, so them adding in the serial killer to this was just way too much going on and didn't quite make sense to me. I understand why the killer was targeting the members of the conversion camp, but it was just too much. What were your thoughts on the movie? Did you find it horrible or halfway decent? I thought it was okay. I give it a three. It's not one I would watch again, but not the worst film either. Next week I'll be reviewing Knock at the Cabin and returning to Tiny Tina's Wonderlands because I'm trying to get back into normalcy. Uh, and this is actually therapeutic to a point. I like talking to all of you. <laughs> Even though it's not live, I do apologize. I'm going to try to make a live video next week. I'm going to see if I can do it, if it will actually work. I'm going to try doing it on YouTube, not Twitch, which might be the issue. I don't know. I'm going to try it on YouTube. If it goes according to plan, great. You might actually see it. I'm not going to give any details because if it doesn't work, I f I'm going to feel horrible if it doesn't work and you're all anticipating, you know, seeing me live. Uh, but if it does work, you'll actually be able to see the little live video. It's probably not going to be anything interesting. It's probably just going to be me rambling about nothing. <laughs> I don't know at the moment. Uh, it might actually be me playing a game. Uh, probably going to try and start with that. This way, it's not going to be completely boring. <laughs> I'm hoping it goes according to plan. I really am, because if it does go according to plan, I'm going to start doing live videos. Probably... I don't know when, but it'll probably replace one of these. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Until next time. Bye, everyone.